Hi, I'm Kevin Hall, CEO of Global Integration and author of the book Speed Lead. Faster, simpler ways to manage people, projects and teams in complex companies. Our Speed Lead book, training and consulting is based on our work with some of the world's largest and most successful corporations. We noticed that as great companies grow, they become more complex. They have more complex products, more diverse groups of employees working in new ways, and more complex matrixed and virtual organization structures. We noticed that this complexity can lead to delay, cost, and dissatisfaction unless people learn new skills for dealing with this much more complex world. We also discovered that some traditional management myths were standing in the way of success. Our approach is based around four C's that describe some of the people management challenges and how to cut through complexity to get more done. In this video, I'll talk you through this image that we developed to explain the speed lead approach. The central panel shows some of the factors that create complexity in organizations that have become global, virtual, and matrixed. Many are coping with the complexity of integrating different corporate cultures following mergers or acquisitions. They're becoming more open to collaboration with customers and partners. They're constantly reorganizing, hoping to find a structural solution. And despite all this complexity, they still need to get things done fast. The first of the four C's is cooperation. People tell us today they are part of an average of five teams, each with 11 members. Their teams are complex, virtual, and operate across geography and sometimes time zones. People tell us they spend two days a week in meetings or conference calls and that 50% of the content is irrelevant to them. Teams have become much more complex and the transaction costs, travel, communication and meeting costs, for example, have increased massively. Yet still we think that teamwork is the answer to everything. In most of the organisations that we work with, the challenge is too much cooperation, not too little. We help organisations be much more selective about where they cooperate to cut down the number of unnecessary meetings, calls and emails, and to really focus cooperation on where it really adds value. With some of our clients, this has saved a day a week of unnecessary cooperation. We also focus on how to structure complex teams to deliver results faster, in many cases speeding them up by 25% or more. The second C is communication. Every training course and meeting seems to end with an exhortation to communicate more. But our participants tell us they spend 80% or more of their day communicating already. The answer can't be to communicate more. People in complex companies are swamped by hundreds of poor quality emails. An average of 80% of emails are not necessary for people to do their jobs. Real communication is two-way, not an increase in the number of broadcast messages or email attachments. So we help organisations to tame the technology, choosing and using the right technology for the right task, reducing the volume of unnecessary communication and improving the quality and participation of the events that remain. The third C is control. In complex organisations, we're more likely to be working with strangers. We have competing objectives cultural differences that can cause misunderstandings. And communicating mainly through technologies like email can subtly undermine trust. When trust is undermined, managers tend to compensate by increasing their central control. And this can lead to a lot of delay and dissatisfaction. Nobody likes to feel controlled, but everyone likes to be in control. We take participants through a systematic process for building trust, capability and confidence to enable control to be exercised fast and as close to the action as possible. Decentralized control is essential to fast response in complex organizations. The alternative is high levels of escalation, which always causes delay, additional cost and demotivation. 
The final C is community. In the past, community, a sense of belonging, team spirit, etc., was often a free byproduct of proximity. We worked in the same location, so we built relationships, resolved conflicts, and got to know each other over coffee, lunch, and social events. In complex global organizations and in virtual teams, this becomes expensive, and we have to organize to build community fast. We need to engage people with different values in multiple locations. We have relatively little face-to-face -face time together, and what we have is often taken up by unproductive PowerPoint presentations. Yet community remains essential for the functioning of complex organizations. So we help teams and organizations develop new forms of community that can work locally and virtually, and that accelerate the delivery of teams and projects. As you can see, the challenges at this level of complexity require some new thinking and some new skills. We've delivered over 100,000 participant days of training in these areas and have learned what really works, as distinct from the myths about what used to work in simpler times. Our speed lead process and training can be targeted to cut out unnecessary and wasteful work and to accelerate the delivery of what remains. Because every organisation is different, the specific programmes tend to be highly tailored. You can see how your company compares with others by taking our speed survey at speedleading.com. Or you can read my book Speed Lead to get some ideas that you can apply to your own organisation. So do it fast and good luck. <laughs>